Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me as always is Moon Pier. Hello. And Monkey Senior. Yo. Uh, this is our fourth and final week of 20XX. Um, after this, we will do our ranking as is customary. But before we do that, uh, let's talk about this game that I played very little of because uh, Void Bastards came out this week. Yep. <laughs> and. That took up uh, all my time. And most of my runs this week were basically like, all right, let's do a daily. Whoops, died on the second stage. Cool. Dude. Uh, let's play as the blue lady. Whoops, died immediately. <laughs> cool. Come on. I, uh, I did two runs this week. One with each of the additional mm. characters. I don't think I've given them enough time because, oh boy, do I not like either of those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I, I, it's one of those things. It's... Again, to reference the um, the almighty uh, roguelike here, it's the Isaac mm-hmm. thing. It's you need to be able to do multiple runs with the characters to get used to their their different playstyles, and I haven't had enough time to actually sink in a whole bunch of runs um, right. with the other two to actually be able to get a good feel for them. So basically, say I have the same opinion on them too as I do on um, Ace. yes on Ace, which is. Right now they suck because I suck. <laughs> right. I suck as playing as them. Blue lady for life. Yes, always blue lady. Yeah. yeah. I, did, I did some a lot of extremely short runs. So, oh. <laughs> so I looked up the the trophy list for this, and, mm-hmm. and I just went. I went to the straight to the most rarest one. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like. Let's you know. Let's try. It. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard. Uh, which is like which skull? Yeah, which is run that? is this? So there's, I believe there's four skulls. It's one that starts you on uh, the stages start at stage four. Uh-huh. So it, it goes four to well, once it gets to eight, um, like the the last four are all eight uh, level eights. Oh wow! Then, oh, great. Um, so it's all level eight bosses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And then um, one of them is the enemies do more damage. Uh huh. The third one is uh, enemies have more health. And then the Oof. fourth one is the uh, the marathon one, which uh, makes the stages longer. Oh God! Which so is like, <laughs> holy crap! It's so hard. Yep. The hardest run. Yeah, I, I, I barely made it to like three minutes into the stage. <laughs> Each wow! Time it's, so, it's so hard. Yeah. It, so yeah, no, no platinum, no thousand points for no, any of us. No. Yeah. I don't think I'll. Ever, this is very much a case of I don't think I'll ever be doing it. Very much like Crypt. Like Crypt of the Necrodancer right. is an incredible game. It genuinely is an incredible game. But oh boy, is I'm at the, I'm at the like the, the the stupid final main character one. It's like oh, don't get hit, don't miss a beat. There you go. Mm-hmm. It's like right play play perfectly for about an hour. Mm-hmm. It's like no, that ain't happening. Not with me at least. Right. <laughs> no. Man, uh, anything? Uh, any anyone else do anything cool this week? It sounds like we all kind of kind of ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, yeah. the game's got a lot of content. Like it's got a lot of like it's got four playable characters in there. Each have their own individual unique <coughs> play styles, which I think is really cool. Yeah. It's. I think there's a few too many additional modes in there, but that's just because I get overwhelmed with paralysis of choice in a very Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed way, where it's like you go to the top row, and it's like, oh, here's the daily, the hard daily, the speed run, the boss rush, the the weekly, the weekly. <laughs> it's just like, come on, really? Yeah. Like this is a lot of stuff in there, and I, don't get me wrong, games should have a lot of options, but for me, it's just like I jump in and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Where do I go? I don't don't know who I want to play as. Like, and I'll be honest, something that's suffered with me with this game is because it was very late on the Xbox, I should go check out uh, True Trophies, I think it's called, which is the PlayStation equivalent Mm -hmm. of True Achievements. I should go check out that because there is zero guides up for this game on the True Achievements site. Probably because by the time it came out to the Xbox, everybody had already played it elsewhere. But also, right. no one is stupid enough to actually attempt to get all of the achievements in this game. 
<laughs> Everyone just looks at the achievement list and they're like, "No, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna." Well, not it's gonna one it. of those games where at least really you, you load up the achievement list, and I think there's about 25 in total, roughly. Mm, yeah, and I something think like that. Five of them are all like 20 percent and above, and it's like, okay. And then as soon as you get past those 20 percenters, it's 0.01, 0.02, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9. It's just like. Really? Yeesh. You just yeah. gotta go there with with everything. Uh, so now that we're done with a twenty XX, let's wrap up our thoughts about the game overall. Uh, since we don't do that in our our ranking up, so we leave that just to pure science. Uh-huh. Uh, why don't we start off with you, Monkey, about what you thought overall of twenty XX? Uh, I thought it was really it's a really fun game. Like I I played it. A lot, and it it kept me wanting to play another run, you know. Mm-hmm. And that mm-hmm. that's the good thing about roguelikes, like, oh, well, just one more run, just one more run. And yeah, when they grab you, it's uh-huh. they grab you pretty hard. Yeah, it's yeah. the uh, oops, um, it's three a.m. effect, <laughs> right? Yeah, and yeah, I I think I might unlock all the items in just like the the easy mode and just get a whole bunch of uh, you know the the chips, but. Other than that, I'm not, yeah. not going to do any craziness on it. Yeah. yeah, not that hardcore. I mean, yeah. it's something I like is that there is a whole bunch of, uh, of item unlocks. But I kind of wish something that I think Crypt does really well, Crypt of the Necrodancer, is it gives you all of those items to unlock, and then you can spend the same currency you use to unlock it to mm-hmm. remove them from the item pools. So yes. you know yeah. that if you have a run type that you prefer, you can just like trash half of the items because like okay i don't care about using the special abilities i'm a i'm an x shot only kind of guy so give me right. everything that increases that type of damage i take <laughs> everything else away well, one thing i do like that 20xx does that i wish some other games did is when you unlock an item like a one-time use item or something that isn't permanent i do like that you start your next run with that item yeah yeah. Um, I really dig that you don't have to. That, I feel like half of the fun in some of these games is like you just unlocked this. It's like nah, I don't know what that is, but that looks super cool. And sometimes you get it on that run, and sometimes you never see it. But I like spending the money and saying, "All right, you went for this thing. You're gonna get it on the next run, so you get to see how how cool or terrible it is." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Monkey, what? Or uh, sorry, Moon. Are your other thoughts on Twenty uh, XX? Oh, well, I can't speak to the homage nature of the thing because that's something for Mega Man fans to actually speak to. But like, right. I think the game looks amazing. Like graphically, it, it it's got a really solid art style to it, and yeah, whatever it rips off from other games' art style. But it's crisp, it's clean, and the most important thing is, generally speaking, it's really tight controls which is something that yeah. can kill this kind of game straight away <clears throat> it's 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 super meat boy if it had terrible controls would not be the game that it is like it's right you know the it it feels good to play it controls well like the, I, for me it's very generic sounding but that's because it's not my kind of kind of like music and like sound effects like okay you've got a generic pew 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 laser sound when i shoot uh, right. The music's good, but it's not my kind of music. So yeah. it's one of those things. Again, I'm sure it plays perfectly well into the into those feelings of nostalgia. If you're like a Mega Man fan, I'm sure it's got that kind of feel to it. But for me, it's the the big takeaways for this for me is the controls, the look, and the fact that it does have so much in there is it's negative for me. But overall, it's a positive because. I am at that point in my life where, like, you tell me a game is 400 hours, and I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, again? You give me an eight-hour <laughs> linear story, and I am perfectly happy with that because it means I can yeah. start it and finish it. Yeah. I, I agree with with all of that. I think it's, a, it's an incredibly solid game. I think it, <clears throat> it feels... It reminds me a lot of um, Shovel Knight, where it wears its influences on its sleeve pretty clearly, but it... It, they don't just remake Mega Man 2. They take that that formula and they take the, the sort of skeleton of what made those games great and then they build a roguelike on top of it. Um, and to take that sort of eight-level boss rush uh, 
idea and sort of make that into a roguelike, I think, is really cool. Um, I, I'm i the same way as you, Moon. I, I don't think it... For me, it's not a negative. It's probably more neutral that there's so much content in this game. I like seeing that in these games because I like the idea of if this is somebody's Isaac, where it's like, this 20XX is, is my, my favorite roguelike. It's the best roguelike of all time. They have so much stuff to play. And I, I think that's super cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I... I made that mistake with one roguelike, and that's why we uh, have short uh, time frames on uh, a lot of these games here. Um, 58 episodes. But, 58. Oh uh, Yeah, exactly. Um, I think 20XX is really great, and I think uh, you're right. It controls really well. It looks great. Um, it it It's just a really solid platformer, and then to put the the really functional roguelike elements on top of it i think helps it a lot mm-hmm. now, um, out of curiosity like i mean like i said i don't have any nostalgia for the for the Mega Man games but does it bring that up for you guys like i don't know if Monk, i know yeah i know boston's a Mega Man player i, I think he mm-hmm. scratched a couple of them yeah i played most of them i don't think i've beaten any of them but i played <laughs> yeah. most of them, at least yeah, I mean, the intro is literally Mega Man 2's intro, uh, you know, scrolling up the, the tower and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very much the same eight bosses. Um, in, in this, it's very different where you get to choose the three bosses at the end. Mega Man is typically you'd beat a boss, you'd go back to the main menu, and you'd pick one of the eight from just a menu. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, it's really very much, you know, a blue character and a red character and platforming and the pew 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 gun and charging it. Those are kind of the those are the elements of Mega Man. Beyond that it's it's all pretty much pretty much different. Mm-hmm. Um and thankfully, you know, except for that one skull, you you don't die when you <sighs> go down a pit or hit spikes, so which is great. Um and if you want to play super hardcore then you can go turn that on and N- not finish the game, I guess. Hey, <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, so in our next episode that will release uh, alongside this, we will get into our uh, our ranking here of uh, 20XX and we'll find out where that hits our list. But before we go, let's talk about our next game chosen at random from our super giant list uh, of video uh, games. It gets large our, every day. Uh, it does get, yes. Uh, our next game is Don't Starve. Yes. Uh, there, so Don't Starve is a huge game, and there's also a Don't Starve Together. We're not going to play Don't Starve Together, probably. If anyone wants to go play a co-op, go ahead. It's it's the same game. Um, but I know there's, like, Shipwrecked, and there's a brand new expansion that's in early access right now. Uh, if you're out there and you're playing it, l- play whatever you want. It, the, the core is going to be the same, and... Anything above and beyond that just kind of adds more stuff on top uh-huh. of that. But we're going to focus on kind of the the core Don't Starve experience. Um, and let's get into what platforms it came out on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> buckle in for a ride because you have one of these. I bought this game three times. Um, yeah, well. I'm, I've there, barely played it on each time I've, I've bought it. But the first time I bought it, which is my favorite platform that this is on, is the mm-hmm. Chrome Browser. Yes, that's right. I actually don't have that on this list. So, yes, you can probably still buy it on, on Chrome. Uh, it comes out on Windows, OS X, Linux, Xbox One, PS4, PS3, PS Vita, Wii U, iOS, Android, and the Switch. Of course. So, you have one of those. <laughs> Think? And apparently it's in the Chrome browser store. I, so Well, I don't know if it's still there, but it, like when it first came out, it came out originally like in beta in like the the Chrome game store. So mm-hmm. I just picked it up and I was like, yeah, well, it was it's like eight bucks and you get two copies of it. So I just picked it up on a whim. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I'm just. It has since this. been retired, there Clay Games says. So there you go. So not available on the Chrome store anymore. But uh, no, knowing how often this has been in Humble Bundles and Steam sales and stuff, you might already own it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we will be playing Don't Starve next, probably do four weeks, and we will see. Uh, how much of a survival game is it? How much of a roguelike is it? And we'll uh, we will find that out over the next couple weeks. And uh, oh, wait, what's my outro again? Why do we keep forgetting this? We'll see, see you next run. Next run. There, you there go. we go. I got it. <laughs>